and I wanted to talk about Mike Babcock because I want to understand a little bit better why so many people in our audience would like their athletes to have a coach or a boss that they themselves <laughs> would never want to have as their coach or their boss. Uh, Roy, what are some of the details on, on Babcock that make him unpleasant? Well, first, Mike Babcock has been an abusive coach to a lot of the players in this league. When he was with Detroit, it was a miserable experience for those players. Now, going into this Columbus Blue Jackets situation, he had players share pictures off of the phone uh, of what they did during the summer or whatever, put it on the big screen TV for everybody to see, right? That, that was a big problem that uh, Paul Bissonnette had during his po podcast. He explained what happened. Uh, but to, team, to, help you out, to help you out, Roy, this report comes exclusively from Spittin' Chicklets yes. that Biz is a part of. So it's basically, and Babcock has come out and blasted the reporting on this, denying several aspects of what Biz and Spin and Chicklets put out there. Yeah, he said it was family pictures that everybody wanted to share so they could get to know the players better. That's what the team said. Of course, I don't believe that. Wait, Another liar. Wait, he's a well, liar. Well, he, he's, he's I putting, absolutely do not well, you're believe that. Well, you're holding up a track record, and Biz and the rest of the Spinning Chicklets uh, crew are hearing this directly from players and the Blue Jackets have categorized it as a gross misrepresentation and are really coming out on the offensive from these things. Uh, Spin Chicklets had some very harsh words for this. If it's true, and let's just say their intentions were on if well, we want to trust Mike Babcock and say that this is just to see everyone's family pictures, it's kind of like a show and tell. Um, I guess we can maybe understand that a little bit, but at the most sinister, and if you reply what Mike ba Babcock's reputation is within the sport, it's hard to work up that kind of trust. I, I need a little bit more exposition. So that's Mike Babcock's defense is, hey, I just want everyone to get to know each other. The coaches do a lot. It's like, hey, if you know your teammates, you're more invested. What is the sinister part that uh, Biz and the Spit and Chicklets people are saying happened? Basically sharing – Stuff they did over the summer, you know, like what was hanging out with women, hanging out in parties. The, and stuff the accusation like that. is that they airdrop their photos over there, and then Babcock is it's not just family photos, it's an invasion of privacy. And he's using this gambit of let's uh, share family photos because we've had these really beneficial meetings where we're all getting to know each other. I'm in this new place, this is all getting to know you. And if you're a player that's like not feeling that and already suspicious of what Mike Babcock's intentions are, you'd consider this a big time invasion of your privacy. What would is it? I'm trying to figure out like. Like, what's the negative? Oh, my God. You think it's just family photos, but he's actually doing. The fact that he hasn't even coached a game yet with Columbus, that, that's a big problem. That's a red flag for me. He would use it in, in his defense. It's like, I'm just trying to get to know my players better. I know, but uh, what Amin is asking you is what is the great crime on this? I, I would say. As you it's could... been explained, I don't see. Uh, the way it's been explained, it doesn't matter. Uh, there may be something more nefarious here, but the way that it's been explained is insufficient well, to Biz, explain uh, why people are mad at him. Biz uh, drafted like a casual rape reference in, in, in the retaliation. There's a lot of poison to Mike Babcock for what he's done. And if you do actually want to see photos of players' families, there are more discreet ways. There are better ways. There are ways to earn the trust of your players that aren't just airdrop me, trust me. The part of this that I wanted to discuss with Amin, though, as a front office person and with me as a person who does not know the proper way to instill discipline in a staff. That is evident every day around here. I don't know how to be the asshole boss who's running around with my idea of vision and leadership. Everyone behave this way. Let's all be soldiers in an army united. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. It's not the greatest of icebreakers, Dan. Uh, not at all. All icebreakers suck, though. We can agree, right? Back yeah, in the day yeah. when it's like, all right, let's stand up and tell me one thing about you and what's your name. Like, I hated that shit. Except Dentine Ice. I love those guys. <laughs> Put it on the poll, uh, Juju. Do all icebreakers suck? And, and more to the point, I do want to go down this path because I've always dreaded this as well. Do you hate when you have to get up and tell everybody something about yourself? Tell us your name, where you're from, and one thing about you. Oh, what? <laughs> I I once did a defensive driving class, one of those eight-hour things so you don't get the points on your license. And uh, 
you know, they made us say things several rounds, like well, something this, something that, something that. And the room that we did it in had all of those motivational posters, like with an eagle flying and it's like soaring above your problems or whatever, you know, just like those stupid ass things. And every answer I gave was reading verbatim off of one of the posters, but delivered very dry. <laughs> you were Kaiser Sozek. Nobody got it. Nobody got it. Everyone was just like, oh, that's a really good answer. I'm doing a thing. <laughs> I felt so bad because they were they were impressed. They were like, oh, wow, that's really there are There are personality types that do love the icebreaker getting to them. I am not one of those uh, personality types. Let's, let's do it right now. Please. Everyone go no, around the room. No, no. I feel like Say I look name, like I from. would love them, but I don't. You don't? I don't. I just hate them. I bet you Whittingham loves them. There oh, are personality sure. oh, types that love to just stride up in front of you. And yeah, you know what? I've been dying to tell you something about myself. I had cauliflower this morning. <laughs> I have Whittingham doing it by himself in his mirror every morning. Just what? a different, Hello a different there. fact. Yeah. Tell well, us a fact about yesterday. <laughs> While the statement says, I just want to say, I wanted to see family photos, players are texting, unnamed players are texting Ryan Whitney saying he calls our captain over to the center circle and says, uh, I want to see your photos on your phone. I want to know the type of person you are. If you're ice breaking, that's not how you phrase it. I think I want to look at all of your phones. Oh, God, no. I'll drop you my vacation pics, Dan. Anytime I, anyone opens up their phone and pulls all their – like, goes to the Photos app and where they're scro- – I'm just like, this is a dangerous game. Do you, do I scrolled four times and I already saw a picture of my dick. Do you guys not use the hidden fi- fi- uh, feature on the iPhone? Android. No. Oh. <laughs> my mistake. You would be comfortable handing me your phone right now and just allowing me to look through it? Yeah, it's all just a bunch of pictures of stuff from Cinephobe, yeah, screenshots. Now, now, now the iPhone's doing the thing where it saves photos that have been texted to you into your library, and that is – Definitely not an option for me. <laughs> Put it on the poll, please, Juju, at Lebitard Show. Would you hand your phone over to a medium friend? <laughs> You're not medium. 